Now this question I have taken from page 220, question four, uh, this is question 4D. So let's first read the question. Revision books come in three sizes. One is large, medium and small. The large cost $24, the medium cost $17, $17.50, and the small $10.50. All the students studying a qualification order one revision book. So this is very crucial, one revision book for each student. Now there are two, there are boys and girls for this course. 30% of the boys get the large one, 35% get the medium, and the rest, so this is how much? 65, so the rest is again 35%. So the rest is 35%. Get the small one. For girls, 50% girls a lot gets the large one, 30% gets the medium. So 30 plus 50 plus 30 is 80, so the rest is 20%. Get the small size. Okay, one more information. Equal number of boys and girls enter the qualification and there's only one bookstore that orders all the revision books. So estimate how much does the sh bookshop get from the next 300 customers. So you've got 300 customers, so what they're saying is there are 300 customers to buy the book. Customers for the revision book. So if you've got 300 customers for the revision book, you can estimate that 150 were boys, Logically, you can say 150 were boys and 150 were girls. And let's also presume that all the customers who come to the shop buy buys the book. Okay, so there are 300 customers for the revision book and there are equal number of boys and girls. So there are 150 boys and 150 girls. Now these boys and girls either buy the large book, the medium book or the small book. So it's a good habit to write, draw a table. So let's say this is boys, P for boys, G for girls, and T for total. I'll explain what total means. Okay, then you have got large, medium, small. So we are saying if there are 300 customers for the revision book, there are 150 boys and 150 girls. So now, how much would the shopkeep, sorry, the bookshop get from the boys? So, well, they've got 150 boys, and out of them, how many are buying the large books? So, you've got 30%, so which is 0.3. So, 30% of the boys are buying the large book, and the cost of the large book is $24. So, this is what the shop will get from boys who are buying the large book. So we'll do the calculation later on, or you can do it yourself. Okay, and for the girls, there are 150 girls. And how much percent of the girls buy the large book? Well, that's 50%. So that is 0 0.5 times 24. So this is what the shop is going to get from the girls. And we'll write the total here. You can do it yourself. For medium books, there are 150, again, boys. And out of the 150 boys, how many are buying the medium size? There are 35%, so that as a decimal is 0 0.35, times the cost of the medium book is how much? $17.50. I, I hope you can see the pattern and you can do the rest. So this will be 150. For girls, how many are buying medium? So that's 30, so that is 0 0.3 and the cost is $17.50, $17.50, okay, and for the small one, small book, you've got 150 boys, how many are buying the small book, 35%, so the same thing, and the cost of the small book is, how much, $10.50. So this is what the shop the shop is going to get from boys who are buying large book. This is what the, they're getting going to get from the boys who are buying the medium book and so on. So you can write the answer here. So this would be again 150 times 
this is 20 percent so that is 0 0.2 times 10.5 so you write the total year and the total year and the total year so whichever way you add so I already worked this out so let me write with a different color so this would be this will be 1080 okay and this would be 1800 this would be 918.75 918.75 and this would be 787 787.5 this product would be 551.25 and this would be 315 you can check your use your calculator so let me do the total so you can do the total year so I'm doing the total this way doesn't matter it should both match up so the total year would be 2000 550 from the boys and this total is 2902.50 from the girls so the grand total that the shop can be getting from the students is 5452.5 dollars or 0.50 cents so this is what they get from the students.